So you bought a home and your appraisal came in low. What are you supposed to do now? Well, let me tell you about Joe and Flora. You know, see, we've been working together now for about six months and they've been looking for the right home. We finally found it, made a great competitive offer, and even though there was four other offers on it, we were able to secure it and they were very excited. However, two weeks later, the appraisal came in and it was lower than the agreed upon price. You know, like most clients who find themselves at this stage, Joe and Floor were disappointed, of course. Now, I always ask them first, what are your thoughts on this? You know, they said, we love the home, but are we overpaying? Are we being irresponsible? Uh, does a homeowner have to lower the price? And these are all valid concerns, right? Well, the very first thing we do is we start with a very clear review of the written appraisal. We challenge some properties being used. Maybe we request a senior appraiser review it. And of course, we ask the homeowner to lower their price. This is sometimes the right direction to start and, and move forward. Other times, we just refer to the sensitivity of the market. However, I want to share with you, this is a conversation we had. Now, Joe, I, I want to share with you the fundamentals of the value of this home. See, in this case, you guys did your own appraisal. I'm not talking about the, the institutional metrics that are normally used. What I mean by that is this. You have touched and seen every home over a 10 mile radius that was in your price point for the last five months. Some of those homes are still in the market while others got bidding wars like the one we just bought here. You see, how we determined the price was literally by having your hand on the pulse of the market. Your method makes it highly accurate and up to date. There's no appraiser that is as accurate as you and the other four buyers that were trying to buy this home. The metrics that you are using is the one to trust. Appraisers have their place in the process, but it's subjective and it's a moving target. Now, I want to recap the main part of the conversation. That was this. Joe and Flora, six months ago when we started this, you physically said you outgrew your home and your desire was to buy a bigger home in a different community. Is that still your desire? They gave me a resounding yes, and I said, perfect. Now, I could assure you that this is a conversation with much due diligence over the last few months I had with them. I have also had over, I've had the same conversation for over 30 years, one way or the other. You see, at this stage, I say, trust the journey, because 99.9% .9 of the time, it's going to meet the vision that you're after for many years to come. See, that's a foundation of why I wrote the second story process, and that's the guide that I would love for you to download and just give it a read. Until we meet, take care.